Salut à tous, c'est la tartine au micro de Vacarme. On est toujours à Cologne cette fois après le match de Mousse euh, avec Cyclone. So, so first of all, Cyclone. Before to speak about Cologne, I want to speak about the player break. And so you bring back Sui uh, to his home. Mm. So, did you notice some changes uh, here after Cologne that you see him on game uh, with the Sui that you know from uh, Mousse next? Yeah, so um, I think some changes compared to what we had before is that Shuhi is, is a little bit more of an explosive caller at times, a little bit random. Um, and I think you see also that outside the server, that everyone right now has the same age and it's a little bit of a, at times an immature group and they like to joke around and have a good time. Uh, obviously, when the pressure comes onto you, it can be a good tool to navigate through all of that pressure. And they, um, they shared a lot of time, uh, Xerxion, Torsi and uh, Shuhi in Mosnix. Do you think it can help the new roster here to to win some times to be ready for the upcoming uh, months? Yeah, definitely, I mean, uh, winning will always give you good confidence in what you have going. And I think if we look at the two games we played this event, they will already give us a little bit of confidence. Um, but we had to still talk about the last two games we had here. What went missing? Where was our identity? Why were we already always on the back foot? Did the pressure come to us? What was the case? And you also add a gym hat to the roster, and you have a lot of experience now on um, the thing that you, on when you promote young players to the main roster. So, what's the most important to succeed to an uh, integration like that? Oh, I think there's a lot of factors in succeeding in that. First of all, you gotta make sure that the new guy is welcome. And it helps a lot in, in this scenario that Jim had played in our academy team and we already know kind of what profile he is. How does he behave? How does he handle pressure? What kind of teammate is he? And he's already uh, he used to play with a few of the players we have on the team right now when, he, when they were in NXT as well. So there's some connection there and just, just about making sure he's comfortable. He feels like he has time to figure things out. He gets the right feedback, but he's also allowed to explore on his own. And do you think the experience from him brother, um, Sergei, could help him, maybe? Um, I know this is a question that comes up every now and then, um, but from what I know, obviously he used to follow his brother a little bit, also watched him play one or two LAN events, but they're not really that close. I mean, they don't live at the same home right now and haven't done for quite some time, so... Um, I think at some point it was inspiration and maybe the reason why I started playing. But to be honest, I don't think he really reflects so much with his brother. I will see when you, you come on an event like Cologne, you want to reach the playoff. But at the same time, we have to think about it's the beginning for a team like you and the roster. Yeah. So what do you think about the result here? Um, yeah, obviously a little bit disappointed, mostly in the last two games. and the sort of identity we showed and that we are not giving up as much of a fight as we would have. Um, so making through play-ins was nice and um, we got two games here. I wish we could have pushed a little bit further. Last year we also went to the playoffs bracket in Lanxess and for me that's a long time dream come true and I would have hoped we would have made it here as well but uh, we need more time and for us it's still a very young roster. We've decided to put our money on, on, on young players, right, and bet on time, Counter-Strike 2 coming out. And I think in the, the next months, the next years, the many events, we're going to grow and improve, and we're going to do it more than other teams. That's the goal. And what's your goals maybe for the upcoming uh, months, for the next events? Is uh, maybe an event like the Thunder Peak could help you to prepare uh, to those um, uh, goals? Yeah, so we're playing this tournament. I think it's a good chance to get some more quality games in. Uh, games where the pressure is a little bit on. We also have some time to practice a little bit more. I mean, we only had the seven-day boot camp and it started the team, so we do media day and you have some team sessions, right? It's not that we have that deep a playbook yet, so there's still a lot of work to do here. And all the players are young and need to figure each other out as well, right? So Thunderpick would be a good chance to do that. After that, we have EPL, which is a little bit more of a laid-back environment, I think, in terms of official games, which for me is a good stepping stone into a bigger tournament. So I'm excited to play that and just have a good time with the boys. And last question, you um, also came from uh, Moose NXT. So what would you say to conclude about um, an, org an organization like Moose who give a lot of the chance to young people on the game? I think Moose has done an incredible job in investing in the, in the NXT project from scouting players to investing money into it to flying them out to international boot camps to having support around the team which is full-time coach, uh, sports psychologist and um, 
and, and many turns of the equation, uh, they have the same treatment as the main team. Um, I think that's why it's been so successful. Okay, thanks a lot. I wish you the best. Thank, Thank you. you.